Hello everyone, thanks for stopping by. Spirit and me, 1111. It's your girl Stardust, 1111 Queen. Today, forecast love the finance reading for the sign of Aries for October 2018. Now, Aries is a fire sign, so this reading may also resonate for the Leo or Sagittarius, as well as fire is your element. So, Aries is a cardinal quadruplicity sign, cardinal mode, it's all about being an initiator and um, liking to start new things as Aries does. Aries is um, a fire sign, so fire is all about the fire and passion and spark and desire of creativity and liking to um, have multiple projects going at once, which could lead to multiple unfinished projects in your life, Aries. But um, never fear, I'm here to deliver a message from the divine to you for October 2019. Aries, this will not resonate with all of you guys out there. So you will have the option to get in contact with me. The information will be listed down below in the description box if you will be needing a personal private reading, do contact me. There will be an extended version of this reading. Um, I will also have a link down below for my Vimeo. And you all are welcome to go there and rent or purchase that video on my Vimeo on demand page. Um, I always like to tell you guys that tarot is timeless. So these can be events that have already taken place in your life. Aries or that is currently taking place or something that will be coming up in the near future for some of you Aries out there. Um, you guys are welcome to reverse the genders here. Your kings can be queens and vice versa for this tarot card reading, Aries. So, without further ado, my lovelies, let's get right into your reading and see what message does the divine and spirit and the universe have from an awesome, amazing cardinal sign of Aries. All right, spirit, if you will, give me some cards for the awesome, amazing fire sign of Aries. For October 2019. Thank you, Spirit. Let's see what we have here for you guys. Aries. Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> so this is Earth Energy. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So some of you are dealing with a um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, be it male or female. This is someone who's coming to offer something very tangible, something solid. You're Queen of Pentacles is very trustworthy, very loyal, very practical. Um, the Pentacles and the Earth energy here is about what's solid, what's tangible, going off of um, the practicalities in life. It's more so what can be seen, what they can see, touch, and feel more so. Um, not feel, but they can uh, see and touch more so based off of what they can feel. Um, that's more for the water signs. Water signs are all about emotions and following the heart. And here, pentacles is more um, practical. You know, they work off of practicality. So you're dealing with someone that's coming towards you with an offer, right? Aries, and here, your earth sign, if this is the Taurus, you're dealing with someone that's very stuck, very set in their ways, doesn't want to be moved, doesn't like change, and doesn't want to conform. Um, and the Virgo of the pentacles is a mutable sign. This is a sign that is willing to accept change, um, takes change really well, is open to change, and you can really work with your Virgo here out of that quadruplicity mode. Um, so then if you're dealing with the Capricorn version of this, you're dealing with a cardinal sign. They always want to start new projects, always looking to get into something new, always willing to take on a new task or a challenge. And it's very, um, initiative you know there's starting new things starting new projects which can lead to multiple projects that are just out there on the table and unfinished so then we go right into the king of swords queen of pentacles king of swords okay so that's air energy gemini libra and aquarius um your king of swords is going to be someone who is very um, emotionally detached especially the aquarius version of this um air energy if you're dealing with an aquarius male or female and someone who's uh, very emotionally detached, fixed energy, so they do not like to be moved. Um, they're kind of set in their ways and they don't like change as much as the Gemini here when it comes to this air sign is mutable. So they like change and they're willing to go with the flow and they're willing to compromise and work with you in your situation if that's your person. And then um, 
when you go into the cardinal virgin of this, the Libra, you're dealing with someone who's like the diplomat of the zodiac, your Libra, when your Libra shows up and the king of swords type of energy, you have someone that is about starting new things, um, very strict and direct to the point. Libra is the diplomat of the zodiac. So you have someone that uses that sword and discerns the situations in their life, doesn't let their emotions cloud their judgment moving forward. That's all of the air signs, right? But when it comes to the Libra, they're about starting new things taking on new projects, but they'll take care of everyone in their circles to make sure that no one feels left out in the cold and that they're not being too strict and direct on the other end of the spectrum. That's their strength. That's their quality. It's not letting their emotions cloud their judgment. Your king of swords here is um, about using that sword to cut right through the shenanigans. Your king of swords can be someone that has come in the picture and cut you off uh, made you see things for what they really were and probably was really bold and direct probably someone that's working in law enforcement um that's dealing with the judicial system in some way form or shape and um yeah your king of swords here um it shows up kind of angry like the way this guy is handling the sword like he's kind of rubbing his thumb along the blade of that sword so he's ready to just go in he sat back and study and analyze um air signs are very analytical they always are analyzing things and this guy is ready to come in and cut things off they no longer serves him or her for the betterment of the situation so that's that, right? Then your moon here, you're dealing with Pisces energy. When the moon comes into play, this is your subconscious at work. This is about paying attention to your dreams, seeing what's coming to you in forms of synchronicity. It's about your fears, what lies within and facing your fears, being able to come out of this dark night of the soul type of place you're in and just use your emotions, just let your emotions flow because um, the moon illuminates, you know, the night, um, the things that can be seen by the nightfall that um, we all pay attention to it reminds us of a dreamy like sort of state of mind is when you're in, let's say, theta brain waves and your imagination is at play and you're more receptive to these type of messages from the universe, from spirit. So something or someone could be trying to contact you through your dreams. Keep a dream journal if you can here. Um, because you can definitely be having someone trying to contact you through your dreams, Aries, and I'll give you messages to look forward to. So keep a dream journal if you can. Um, Six of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, fire energy. That's more of your energy. The Six of Wands is about victory. You know, it's about victory. So um, when you have your six of wands here it's like reasons to celebrate something that you're very proud of something that you've accomplished that you've worked really hard for but this wasn't a victory that you won alone you've had help along the way and those around you may feel left out at this point if you don't um, give them the, the due props that they need give them the accolades that they need for even helping you to get where you are because you have to remember that we are all one in this journey right that we're spiritual beings having a human experience on planet earth and that this flesh this meat suit is just a meat suit we're all spiritual beings and we're all connected on a um subconsciously level through our higher self through spirit Tao is always present in our life Tao is our higher source is our higher self it's the universe and how we're all interconnected with each other so your man helps if that be in the 3D experience, 4D or 5D. You have reasons to celebrate here because you have reached a point that um you're in a celebratory energy. Something has come into your life. Something has ended. I see Ten of Swords here. Um, more air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And it's about a bitter ending. Um, Someone stabbed you in the back and made you feel that you're, you know, just it's over whatever happened is over tens are about transformation it's about things being over things being complete and um with this ending comes an epiphany for you comes a moment through that moon card because you've been thinking your subconscious has been at a play here in the background um, without you even know knowing about it your subconscious think about it as your gps your great programmable subconsciousness if you don't brainwash yourself society will do it for you and can keep you in whatever type of energy that you allow the situation around you to play out to be it's about perception perception is everything the way you look at your situation is everything moving forward aries eight of cups water energy cancel scorpio pisces um walking away from something that no longer serves you your person could have walked away from you this card is more so about soul searching so you've come from a place that like you're the queen of pentacles you've been in that energy 
and your soul searching right now, trying to find yourself, your worth, your meaning, your truth, your strength, something that was in your life that would have maybe even seemingly been okay for the next person that's not okay for you because it doesn't serve you, Aries. So you're about your money, your business, you're on your Queen of Pentacles game, you're leveling up, you're working hard, you're putting in the work, you're setting the attention, you're building your coins, you're securing the bag right now at this point in your life. Your King of Swords here is somebody that's kind of like the jackass kind of energy in your life that's just standing there in a cut. It could be keeping you from your best life ever. Your King of Swords is someone that is um that could either take you far or it could keep you from going far depending on their this is just the sun signs what i'm picking up on here um and that's your outer layer of your onion of the zodiac think of your sun moon rising venus signs and um your ascendants your descendant signs as the layers of the onion so your sun sign is the outer layer and the more you know about yourself your other signs you begin to go inside of the onion okay and build the onion as a whole um, go to moonology.com or cafeastrology.com and put in your exact month day and year of birth and your time down to the minute is very important because even if you're off by like a minute and you could miscalculate your chart it's very important that you know your signs these signs here could even be your person if they don't hit on someone that you're well known uh, that you know about pretty well then it could still be that person it can just be another sign that they resonate with um example i'm a virgo sun i'm a pisces moon a cancer ascended and pisces midheaven so I have three water signs in my chart. So I pick up more with the Pisces energy and water energy than I do my own sun sign. And it just took me to this year to find that out about myself. That's the part of my journey that I'm at. So it's very beneficial to know those things about yourself. Um, moving forward here, like I said, with that Eight of Cups energy, Aries, I just see um, a situation in your life that um, <laughs> your King of Swords is in the picture. Like the moon is telling you, here, pay attention to the signs. Don't ignore the red flags. Um, you're at a point in life where you should be celebrating having your victory and living your proudest moments. Something has ended. And it could very well just be that it's something you should have been walked away from. You're heading towards the moon with the Eight of Cups. That's your subconscious. Subconsciously, you're being drawn. This has nothing to do with your regular conscious mind. It's a subconscious. So even though on the outside you may play a role, you may be putting up a facade, deep down inside, you don't feel the situation anymore. It's been over with you. It's been dead. And you have this person that's there that's standing over you, that's trying to push off his or her will in your life. And they're like, the universe is like, through this moment, this epiphany, through this moon energy, you're going to be able to see things for what they are. And you can step out of this on your victory, on your horse, riding it out for what it's worth. Or you can continue to stay and allow those 10 stores to keep penetrating your back, keep stabbing you in the back, leaving you to feel like it's a situation you should have been walked away from, you know, because you're not fulfilled there. You're soul searching right now. You're in that soul searching type of energy. So... I'm going to get an energy oracle card for you aries and see what's going on we are definitely going to get over to vimeo and get you guys some more cards so i can get more energy for your message i will be exploring what's at hand um, past influences what to ponder on and what to do moving forward for you aries out there I may even pull a couple clarifiers here just because this reading is so, to me, it's like really interesting because I'm like, what are we going to do? <laughs> what is Aries going to do? Like, it's so out there to me. I don't know. But, um, spirit always has a way of letting things be shown. King and queen. So this is definitely a couple. But um, these are opposing energies here. There's the queen here. Um, the earth energy. Earth and water is feminine. And fire and air is more masculine energy. And opposites attract, right? You're the end to this person's game. You could be a perfect match in a perfect world. But when you got the king of swords showing up here with the moon, the ten of swords, and um, the eight of cups, it's not something that you're satisfied and you're pleased with at this point in your life, Aries. Um... Maybe something you want. <laughs> you may feel like you're a victory, but you're all about your coin. Like you feel like you need to be leveling up more that this person is keeping you from it. And this could be the death of something old so that you can walk towards something new and be reborn through this whole situation. The moon is major arcana. So through your epiphany, through your moment of clarity and what you search for, you're going to find yourself in this situation. I'm going to see what you're going towards, what you're headed towards. Spirit, if you will. Don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe button and also bell notification if you want to be notified the next time I upload some videos here to my channel. I'm going to pull you guys two cards. <laughs> I 
what did I just say? Hey, Spiriel, and something else. Thank you. <laughs> so we have 22 here, the yin and the yang. I was just talking about this, um, balancing the polarities out here, the masculine and feminine energies. That's so awesome. I love that. Um, what number is that? 22. <laughs> I'm smiling so hard. Spirit be showing out on camera for me <laughs> and for you guys too. Sure reading, right? <laughs> Yin Yang, passive, active, intuitive, logical, right? The King of Swords is very logical, right? Okay, this card represents energetic life cycles. And its purpose is to help you identify the particular energy, the particular cycle energy moving into or out of your experience. In its upright position, it heralds a yin cycle where most of the action seems to be happening under the surface of things. Hello, the moon car, I told you, under the surface. Eight of cups behind the scenes, your subconscious. I love it. I love it. <laughs> um, this is a time of great receptivity, intuition, and gestation. External circumstances may be forcing you to go within and examine present activity. It's an especially good time for completion. So wrap things up. Yin cycles often call you to be passive, yielding, yielding and reflective. That's that's amazing. Aries, look at you. <laughs> okay, so open up to these sides of your nature. Being more than acting is the intention here. Being more than acting is the intention here. That's what's up. I love it. Broken heart, number nine. Let's visit this broken heart energy. Ten of swords. Like, yeah, broken heart, honey. It's over. You know, things that should have been over. It's over. Grief and loss. This card shows a broken heart open. Revealing darkness, emptiness, and a grief-filled tear. The heart may be from long ago. Or it may be the pain from a more recent event. Either way, deep healing is called for now. Vent your feelings and release the person or situation involved. Did I not tell you? <laughs> You're walking away from something that doesn't serve you. That Ten of Swords, it's over. You should have walked away a long time ago and you could have had your victory. The universe is trying to tell you what's best for you. Um, affirm that you are reclaiming your power and peace of mind. Open your heart to the light of divine love and healing and have compassion for yourself through this difficult process. Make self-care a priority now as you let go of old experiences. You can now open your heart to the true and abiding love that you so rightly deserve. <laughs> okay, guys, I don't know what more I can say. Spirit is showing up and showing up for you guys. I love how the synchronicity of the oracle bounces off of the tarot and gives you a more direct message as to your cards. This is awesome. I'm so glad you guys joined me over here at, looking for my clicker, <laughs> over here at Spirit of me, 1111. It's your girl, Stardust 1111. Thank you all so much, my lovelies. Namaste.